Hi, my name is Beatrice Sosa. I am a technical marketing engineer here at Dell Technologies. Over the course of this video, I'll be detailing Native Edge's secure device onboarding with FDO process. Secure device onboarding was first created by Intel and handed over to the FIDO Alliance to create FIDO device onboarding, FDO. Secure device onboarding with FDO helps validate and provision Native Edge enabled devices with zero trust and zero touch, addressing security, cost, and complexity challenges. With secure device onboarding, all you need to do is plug in a network cable, power it on, and walk away. Let's take a look at how this is possible. When an Edge-specific device is ordered and the option indicating that it will be maintained by Native Edge is selected, Dell Manufacturing is notified of this. Then, an electronic voucher signed by Dell with a unique identifier on it will be assigned to the device, and the device user will get a corresponding voucher that is stored in their Dell Digital Locker account after the device is manufactured. The corresponding voucher can then be brought into the Native Edge Orchestrator, so that once the device is powered on and the Native Edge Orchestrator has verified that it has not been tampered with, then the Native Edge Orchestrator and the device can start secure communication. Once the orchestrator determines the authenticity and integrity of the new Edge device through secure component verification, it will provision the Native Edge operating environment on top of the device. Let's take a detailed look at the secure device onboarding with FDO process. As mentioned previously, each Dell Edge optimized device on Native Edge is assigned an electronic voucher that claims that specific device on Dell Native Edge. From the Native Edge dashboard, we can see the devices and their onboarding states, as well as any virtual machines or application deployments that we've made. Now, let's take a closer look at the voucher uploading process. There are two connectivity types supported in Native Edge for device voucher uploading, non-air-gapped and air-gapped. Non-air-gapped is when the system is connected to the internet, while air-gapped is when the system is not connected to the internet. In the scenario where the Native Edge orchestrator has internet access, Native Edge downloads vouchers directly from the Dell Digital Locker after the user logs into their account and enters their Native Edge Orchestrator token. In some scenarios, the Native Edge Orchestrator may not have internet access due to a firewall or security restrictions. Because of this, the Orchestrator cannot contact the Dell Digital Locker directly. Therefore, in order to establish the connection, users need to use a laptop or a workstation that has internet access to Dell Digital Locker. They must then copy the Native Edge Orchestrator identifier to allow them to download the vouchers directly to their laptop or workstation. Lastly, they can then upload the vouchers from their laptop or workstation to the orchestrator as the vouchers are stored directly on their own system. Once a voucher has been uploaded into the Edge Orchestrator, the entitlement page can be accessed which displays all the vouchers available in your account. Here, we can see the service tag of each device whose voucher has been uploaded into the system, as well as when it was added. The Upload button allows for multiple vouchers to be uploaded at the same time directly from this page. Now that our vouchers are in the system, we can see which devices associated with those vouchers have been provisioned into our system already, and which ones still need to go through the onboarding process. Before we proceed with onboarding a device, let's review some suggested prerequisites. There are two main suggested prerequisites that you should ensure are completed before beginning the onboarding process. First. Have DHCP running so that the native Edge enabled device can get an IP address automatically. Second, pre-configure your DNS server to allow an address such as rv.local.edge to map to the IP address of the Edge orchestrator. If you don't have this, it could be set up by using the service console, which is loaded on a laptop or a workstation. For more information and guidance, refer to the Edge orchestrator user guide for detailed configuration steps. Now, let's proceed with onboarding one of the devices for which we uploaded the voucher for previously. The estate screen displays all the devices whose vouchers have been uploaded and which state they are in. After a voucher has been uploaded, the device will go into a waiting to onboard state. Once the device is plugged into the power supply, has been turned on, and has successfully established connection with the rendezvous server rv.local.edge, the state changes to onboarding. The device then establishes communication with Native Edge and starts the onboarding process. Once the onboarding process is complete, the state changes to onboarding complete, and the installation and configuration of the Edge operating system begin, and the state changes to provisioning operating environment. Once the device is connected to the Native Edge orchestrator, the connection state changes from not reachable to connected with a green checkmark. 
After the Edge operating system installation is complete and the device is connected to the native Edge orchestrator, the device's state will change to provisioned, its final state. Once the device is provisioned, the assigned IP address and other information for that device can be viewed. To check the status of a device, select the device name. On the device details page, we can access the provisioned device's details and see what type of device it is, its IP address, its service tag, and more. There are additional tabs to see more details, such as key device metrics for management and compliance purposes, as well as the ability to reboot, upgrade, and reset the device. Once different versions of the Edge Orchestrator operating system have been loaded into Native Edge, the Policy and Rule tab becomes extremely useful. Here, one can choose which version of the operating system to onboard onto devices, depending on the type of device when it first comes online. For example, if you want one hardware product to have the same older OS version consistently, then you can choose an onboarding policy for that specific device type so that the newer operating system does not get loaded on by default. Rules are utilized to customize the application deployment process for devices as they are brought online. For a specific tag, certain applications can be selected to be auto-installed on the device with that tag once it is brought online, creating consistency between all devices with the same tag. Tags are used to group devices, such as by location, purpose, and more. Once tags have been assigned to numerous devices, the rules that I described earlier can be implemented for each tag so that once a device comes online with that tag, a specific application will be automatically loaded onto it. Here we can see how many devices have been assigned each tag. This is incredibly useful in large fleet management situations. For example, if you have hundreds of Optiplex devices deployed at hundreds of retail stores used for point of sale, you can tag them all as point of sale and apply a rule to auto install certain applications when they come online. And that way they are all consistent with the same software. This concludes the overview and demonstration of Dell Native Edge Secure Device Onboarding with FDO. With Native Edge, devices can be securely onboarded, ensuring their integrity and security, as well as allowing for the consistency of devices and their applications throughout one's device fleet. For more information on Native Edge, check out dell.com forward slash Native Edge. Additional resources and videos are also available on our Native Edge Info Hub at infohub.delltechnologies.com. Thank you.